بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لا that there is no one on this earth more beautiful than a Muslim woman. There's no one who comes close to that. The first person to accept Islam was a woman, Khadija radiallahu anha. The first person to die, Shaheed for Islam, Sumayya radiallahu anha. The second most hadith is reported by a woman, Aisha radiallahu anha. The opposite the people, the, the disbelievers. So when this woman, before she leave the house, like the other woman, she looks in the mirror. But they're looking in the mirror for something different. When the woman in the street look in the mirror, she looking to make sure she has the best style. She looks good. She can attract a man. But this woman, when she look in the mirror, she makes sure she's dressed, she's dressed appropriately. Make sure that Allah is pleased with her. Make sure she's covered. So when she go out in the street, that she covered to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If she does that, she's beautiful. It's just a cloth. All this commotion is over a cloth, needle and a thread. But the purpose of the niqab and the hijab is not just to cover the face and the head. It's to preserve beauty and demand dignity and respect. You see, pearls are found hidden in beautiful shells in the bottom depth of the sea. Diamonds are covered in mines, not naked to the eye to see. Gold are up on mountains far to reach. My sisters are priceless. Precious jewels worth more than pearls, diamond and gold. How else can they conceal their beauty except with clothes? So that they may not be molested by perverted minds that don't know what respect is. As for my sisters that neglect this, take Mary as an example, a woman whom Allah perfected, honored her in life, and in the hereafter will be amongst those whom he selected. To his mercy and love, mentioned in gatherings by angels hovering above. And even though you see them in clothes, the color of crows, their souls are purer than doves. The intention in their heart is to please the Lord. And never will they exchange their faith within for all the jewelry in the world. A righteous woman is not one to be compared to any ordinary girl. She observes cleanliness, gives advice or remains silent in idle talks that are meaningless. Her friends she wisely selected, every act of righteousness she hardly neglects it. She'll send a mujahid to your doorstep if she feels disrespected. She don't fall for these pretty boys cause they played out like Tetris. Cause what will your looks and wealth do for you when brimstone fall from the sky like Tetris? No collateral damage, they'll be marked and named for every malicious neglectus. This is what they fear for their husbands, so they seek maintainers and protectors. Righteous men who fear no one but their Lord, who don't fear the criticism of the doubters, and they live by the sword. A righteous couple, that's what I call a true match made in heaven. Cause what I am telling you, there's nothing more priceless, precious, and beautiful than righteous woman. Cover girl.